Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see configure Microsoft Defender for identity sensors. Well, at a high level, I'll tell you the steps that are required to enable Microsoft Defender for identity. So let me just quickly show you the steps and take it from there. All right, so these are the steps. We'll create an instance on Defender for Identity Management Portal. You specify an on-premise AD service account in the Microsoft Defender for Identity Portal. Then you download and install the sensor package. You install the Microsoft Defender for Identity sensors on all the domain controllers. To integrate your VPN solution, which is optional, you exclude the sensitive accounts you have listed during the design process. You configure the required permissions for the sensor to make SAM-R calls. You configure integration with Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps. Then you configure integration with Microsoft 365 Defender, which is also optional. Right. So as we discussed about the architecture that the installed, sorry, the sensors, Defender for Identity sensors, which are installed directly on the domain controllers, accesses the event logs it requires directly from the domain controller and then after the logs and network traffic are passed by the sensor defender for identity sends out the passed information so only a percentage of the logs are sent so defender for identity sensors they have the the core functionality of capturing and inspecting domain controller network traffic receive windows events receive radius accounting information retrieve data about users and computers perform resolution of network entities transfer relevant data to the microsoft defender for identity cloud services so if you want to see the defender for identity sensors requirements please go and check microsoft documentation where they have mentioned which kb should be installed on server 2019 and then uh, Defender for Identity Sensors are already installed on 2019 servers. Then there is one update that should be installed on those servers, KB4487044. Right, so this is high level requirements. The Defender for Identity support, uh, support domain controllers which are 2008, 12, 12, R2, 16, 19, 2008, R2, SP1, I'm sorry. The domain controller can be a read-only domain controller for it to for the def identity sensors to be installed. This much of disk space, two cores, this much of RAM, power option, a virtual machine. If it is running as a virtual machine, dynamic memory or any other memory ballooning feature is not supported. Now, to install the Microsoft Defender for identity sensor, you have to download and extract the sensor file. And then when you will download the Defender for Identity Sensor setup, you will install it on the domain controller. All right, then you will install it. You will see the sensor deployment type. You will give the installation path. And then you'll mention the access keys. This is the, uh, these are the online instructions that you'll have to follow. And then after the Microsoft Defender for Identity Sensor is installed, we'll have to launch it to open up the browser to sign into our Microsoft Defender for Identity portal. Then on the Microsoft Defender uh, for Identity portal, we have to make sure that we have uh, the configuration set up and then we have clicked on the sensor we want to configure with the information like what is the name of domain controller, the description, what all network adapters would be captured, things like that. So it will make, uh, it will be more clear to you if I'll have the Defender for Identity lab set up with me. For that, I'll set up the uh, pilot or evaluate the pilot Microsoft 365 Defender. I'll do it for Defender for Identity, Defender for Office 365, Defender for Cloud Apps, and then I'll focus on other things as well. So in the next video, we'll create the evaluation environment again to show you uh, how you can uh, enable it for Defender for Identity. And going forward, I'll also show you how to do it for Office 365 and of Defender for Cloud Apps. So I hope this video was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.